Aloha! Welcome again to Coco Joy Channel, and I'm glad you guys joined me for Theme on Intention, right? So, we are already in February, and today is the third day after the new moon. So, I do these little um, ways to bring in and manifest things into my life, and the way I do it is every new moon i write down my intention look at this i don't know if you guys know what this is and some of you guys who know what it is <laughs> it's an antenna from a broken radio i found when i was cleaning when i was like i'm not gonna throw this away i'm gonna use it as my little pointer because it works so well maybe i'm gonna color this be cute if it's pink yeah Put fingernail polish. Anyways, getting back to writing theme on intention and what it means to do that. And this is what I've been teaching. This is at my, um, yeah, this is how long I haven't done. Well, I have done it, but there's no sense of changing on how it is. So the, during the new moon, what we had before out here at Coco Joy Sanctuary we had the greet and meet, and then we're going to do the mingle and crafts, and we watch the sunset, and then we start to write our intention. Then we're going to go into our wish box, and we're going to do our new moon ceremony with our sound bath, and then we're going to do, um, you know, the meditation, and mahalo and aloha, Monica. So with that theme, I thought, you know... I can't keep up with all the variants that are out there in COVID. That's why they call it COVID-19, right? They're going down the list. If it's Omicron or I don't know what the new one is. And so there's just so many things that's happening in our life right now that we get a little bit thrown off. And so, you know, the best way to do it me and my team, we talked about it, is just really focusing and bringing all of this great sanctuary energy out to everyone out there at Coco Joy Channel. So I'm so excited to go. And um, for the new moon, this is really was my intention of really manifesting it what it is today. I really didn't know. I just packed up my bags, came back in March, third a week later the pandemic happened and i just start to like you see my other video dig from the bottom up and create this and it's all because 20 years ago when i first started coco sure which this year is our 20th anniversary so we got a lot in store and i'm so pumped up with all this energy well you ask yourself what have you done during the last two years during the pandemic that nobody really thought of what's going to happen. And if you prepare yourself of these kind of things that might happen, and that's why it's so important that we really focus on your new intention. And so with that in mind, theme on intention. So when we do this, this is like one of my, literally my webinar courses or literally one of my workshop that I do for the new moon. And we're just bringing it out there to you guys out there at Coco Jour. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on all of our social media. So click right down there. Plus we're gonna have our Coco Jour Clubhouse and you can join it right on our website and be part of our member. There's so many things that is offering. I mean, I can go on from affiliation to ambassador to distributor to really starting your own business and feeling this energy that we have. And a lot of people out there can just already just DIY. This is how simple I made it for everyone. It's a one, two, three system that really it just grows on you you know it really started how i started is really i set out my new intention of starting a new life i looked at two dog 
named Coco and Jordan and said, what's your mommy do? And I was going through the divorce and it was like a, like a lightning bulb. Like you get that confirmation, that affirmation is because slowly by slowly, we don't even know that we're putting in these intentions. So when we put in these intentions, we look at your value. What are your value? Because your value is going to go really relates to your everlasting life. Okay? Then you ask yourself when you write it down, your worth. Your worth is really is how you're going to feel it. How you're going to feel it. Okay? Then the third one is your love. And love is such a huge subject. You know, it could be your love for your your kids, your father, your mother, your pets, your relatives, your friends. That is endless. Chicken, skies, ocean. It's, it's when you have this no judgment feeling of letting this love, this flow of energy go because when it comes to the full moon and we're going to have a subject on that when it comes to the full moon that's when we have to be really preparing ourselves to let go so when we write new intention our body our mind our soul and spirit can only take so much to really concentrate to meditate to fulfill your values so you can understand the everlasting life. So you can see your worth. To feel it. To how to really, really feel it inside. So your love comes in with no judgment. And with all this feeling we're going to go into is why? To feel and be content. Content in a state of peaceful happiness blissful mind okay and when we say that is because there is a triple force of energy that's within us and this is really one way okay how intention can create manifest into that intention of your mind okay so this is when we say about our three e and we also have a course about that so we'll talk later about that then we need to take action because if you don't take action how is when you enter to create and manifest with this intention that you're creating on these three days you know, some people take five days, some people take seven days. They get started real, you know, because for me is, I did this as a short form to talk to my team about how we're going to do this consumer mindfulness and bliss, okay? And this is my one thing I get. I didn't even have to erase it because this is exactly how my intention came in with the value that I'm going to create this everlasting life in 2020, right and i've already in april i've already manifested this to come where i can use my value and my worth so i can make other people feel it how much love you all have all of this love is because you should in life, there shouldn't be no judgment in how you see everybody. If this person is fat, this person is skinny, this person cannot walk straight, you know, or this person could be actually going through some kind of depression. And if you pull that trigger, you know, be mindful when things are happening around because this is, no matter how, when we talk about the triple for the triangle, is no matter how we fall, we always come back up. But there is all these three different ways and how to achieve these things when you put in the intention, okay? So next, we're on the 
second E is to execute. It's when you execute, is when you take action. And this is when your mindfulness, your heart, starts to really be, it's like a real rush mode. You know, when you're ready to go for, for that run or that sprint and we have all that energy to execute and take action. But at the same time, because we have this mind of intention to be mindful, our heart needs to be balanced. Okay, because all of this, these two things will create some kind of fork in the road. Okay, because sometimes when we enter, we get, we want this, we want that, we want to be successful. Everybody have, everybody is successful. It's how we choose to be successful using our value, our worth, and our love into whatever we feel and you feel content and that's when you get this really this 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 um feeling of peacefulness this feeling of happiness this bliss and so during this time it's a fork in the road where you either going to enter or go what which direction so you need to execute with your mindfulness heart because if you do too much too fast and you know, you might fall down and that may happen. Or if you may have that time and that place for that. I don't know why, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump on a plane and go to Dubai or go to Japan or go to Hilo or go to Maui or go to Kuwait and not go out at all. And just really concentrate, meditate and be very, very balance because this was an opportunity that was given to us two years ago and two years later i'm able to manifest and bring everybody because there shouldn't be no judgment in how people come and learn it doesn't matter how old you are or how you feel that you're too young to understand this or you feel that I don't know if this is for me these are things that nobody is gonna judge you you're gonna do it during the new moon and the full moon I'm just giving you tools okay you are finally in the control seat I tell everybody they all look at me during this time you know before they put it in the wish box and that later on i will tell you because this wish box turns into another like this was my wish box and i kept on what i wanted and i kind of you know made it smaller and smaller and smaller my notes and really put down in short form ways and how you're going to execute the plan with everyone so it'd be very easy very um one two three and see where you are on that map because once you start to execute and your heart is set you're gonna go and start to go on this journey okay because you're gonna start to let go of things when you start to let go you're gonna start to understand the detox and when you start to detox your lung is gonna appreciate because this is where the heart and lungs is your life force. There's actually a yoga pose where your heart and lungs, for 10 seconds, you're standing like a stick. And this is when the heart and lungs start to detox when you let yourself go. That's when you start to exit this breath once you start to understand how you can use the breath of life this energy force this becomes your life force because you have become a mindset filled with intention that you're gonna switch 
like the like the moon cycle the birth cycle right now it starts to make sense because when you look at the moon cycle it's really our birth cycle when a woman ovulates when a woman have their period when they're changing going through pre or post menopause when a woman time to you know feel real feel this this motherly earth this love and it doesn't matter whether you have a child or no child you pick up this energy of love i mean i did through my dogs through my fishes through my clients and through my friends and family through everybody you appreciate <gasps> this breath of air of unconditional love and you're going to start to realize who you're going to let go because you're going to start working on certain things called boundaries and certain limit of what you can do to your mind body and soul and take off you know and that really has a very strong meaning to what it means and so really this way of how some of these natural elements that's really out there but nobody really taught us in school nobody really gave us that real clarity on one-on-one -on -one and what we need to do and so this new moon workshop that i'm introducing you today is really a beginning of many series of workshops seminars webinars and courses that you can find so click on the button somewhere and so you get the notification and how and when all these information of really coco jour that wants to just make people feel that they are their value their worth their love really feel this no judgment of people because because i feel that i don't care how and what i eat the different kind of prayer the different kind of knowledge the different kind of things that i traveled around the world to experience and because this prayer got me to where i am today you know this meditation that we can really feel good about this intention and so you know at our next new moon workshop don't forget to sign up because we're going to go through this and we have the theme on and what we're going to start off and do it in march because we're going to be celebrating march because besides this being my birthday on March 7 I love that number and beside it being really a time where we can celebrate and on schedule my all-natural shampoo is coming in that's when it's being made and shipped out and we have that coming up and so things are really I'm not kidding I am not kidding and what I didn't write this this was you can look at my other past things and I just took it out because I want to share with you okay and so these are some of the things I teach behind the scene on our courses and you're gonna feel that you're gonna give yourself this affirmation I am abundant. I am reaching my goals. Speak and write as if it's done is the most effective way to manifest your desire. Okay? So when we write our intention, make sure take that breath if we need to get that 
clear your throat so you can become a queen bee. Sit with your spine straight up and say it. I am abundant. I am reaching my goals. And make sure you speak and write as if it's done. Is the most effective way to manifest your desire. And really, this is one thing I always put in mind is the consumer, the people, equals the mindful, equal the bliss. It's like when you out delete control, you reset the button, right? It's like a button that we need to do in our way of thinking. So you, what I did was I need to create contents and I did, if you look at my YouTube channel, there's a lot of contents that I talked about. And it becomes where your mind is your worst enemy, I wrote. And I wrote here all scribble, scribble, scribble because I get these thoughts in mind, everybody knowing my team is like, okay, her and her, chalkboard her and her, paper and this and that, and now my antenna, my antenna ball. Yeah, I gotta go change it pink because it's not cute right now. Nah. I think I'll make it nice and shiny and make it, no, maybe this has this, anyway, so. Okay, so this is like a behavior problem right? Your mind is your worst enemy. And, and it all sometimes it all comes down to your behavior problem. Why? Because I can't read what I say over here. Oh, why? Because we are always creature of bad habits. So these two work in line in line and the thing is, is that I always say that we are a creature of a bad habits because habits can change, behavior can change. So if we decide to change the, from, the, from the bottom up and how our behavior is, how our bad habit is, our, then our mindset, like I said, your mind is your worst enemy, can really start to go and reach up here where the conscious mind of being mindful and being bliss. I think this is conscious. Anyway, so this is the structure that we talk about because I can look at my old picture because every time another hint is when you write down this type of thing and anything can happen, make sure you take a picture because then you have your notes and everything and like this, I don't erase because it really gives a good, good layout and how we're gonna write our intention. So I'm gonna sum this up. This has been a long um, journey because this is so important. I really take it in whole heart because I wanna make sure as your wing sister, your wing lady, is to make sure that you are entering and how to create how to manifest your intention the right way and everything else and so once again you take care have a wonderful 2022 and don't forget to sign up for a free webinar for information on our 2022 to 2024 weeks some people call it the leap year and these two our i mean these two years is going to be how we're going to create you so you stay tuned have a wonderful wonderful february or whatever month it is because you use this every single month during the new moon so you take care and aloha remember three days in once the day hit on 
The new moon is three days of great energy. Take care and aloha.